Cancer, welcome, welcome Cancer, my Cancer gang gang, how are you? I am back to do a collective weekly reading for you. This is a general reading, Cancer. It will look at the energies of this upcoming week and how you as a Cancer can best navigate those energies to your advantage. All right, with that being said, this is a general reading. So Cancer, if you do find that these messages are not resonating with you, do not panic. What you'll want to do is make sure that you're subscribed to my channel so that when a future message drops that does resonate with you, you'll be the first to know about it. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you can be in the loop, Cancer. All right, for those of you Cancers joining me for the first time, welcome. I am so happy that you are here. We Cancers have so much fun over here and lots of delicious tarot content for my Cancers, all right? Those of you returning Cancers, thank you. Thank you for all your love and support. I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. I really, really do. No one loves you like a Cancer. All right, Cancer, let's get some messages for you. Spirit, let's get some messages on the board for my Cancer gang gang. All right, my Cancer tribe, let's get some messages on the board for them for this week. What can they look forward to here? All right, let's see what we got. Huh. All right, and let's get some clarifiers on the board, Spirit, for these messages. Mm. Wow. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Let me get these up over here out of the way. And let's get started, Cancer. Your first message comes by way of the Eight of Pentacles being clarified in the Kipper deck by the False Person card. Your second message is of the Queen of Wands being clarified by the mature man. Your last message here is of the three of pentacles in the reverse being clarified by gift. All right, so first off Cancer with this eight of pentacles um, here, what I'm seeing is you, your energy, you've been in this cycle of doing the work you have gone within, you have been looking at the things that not only trigger you, but you've been looking at why they trigger you and how to release those triggers. You've been doing a lot of heavy lifting in the area of working on yourself, working on your psyche, working on connecting with the innermost parts of your spirit and your mind. And that work is paying off for you, Cancer. Like I believe you have been seeing in recent weeks some changes um, that you can directly attribute to the fact that you've become unstuck in certain ways. For some of you, this is going to um, talk about the fact that you have recently started a new job and now you're doing the work of jumping in with both feet, digging in and learning your personal job responsibilities and what it is that um, you need to bring to the table in order to be successful in your new work environment. And it's talking about you know, you having a very focused, um, a very, you're very focused at this time on that and your work ethic is strong and in place. All right. But with all of that being said, we do have this false person card and it does come as a way of a warning, especially for, well, not especially, but for those of you who I talked about in the scenario of starting a new job, you know, there's always at least one, right? <laughs> there's always one troublesome 
trifling person that you're going to encounter here. So this is showing me that even though you may be brand new in this position, you have caught the attention of some people that are just, they're haters, they're jealous, they're, 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 um, they're looking at you, they're observing to see if they can see where your weaknesses are and, you know, holding on um, to that information for however they plan to intend it and plan to use it with their trifling asses in the future. All right. So you kind of know this if you've been in the work world for any amount of time, but just know that this is... If you look around and at your current work environment, you'll be able to discern who these individuals are and spirits letting you know that they're definitely there and that you have it within you with your intuition to discern who they are so that you can make the mental note and not fall for the silly tricks that they pull in later days. Um, for others of you, um, this is stating when I was talking about doing the inner work that you've been doing recently. Um, yeah, this may have been triggered by dealing or possibly even ending a connection with someone who wore a mask that was false, that you probably thought they were, you know, truly a person who was in your life for all the right reasons. You probably thought they were a person that had a lot of integrity, honesty about them, and that they were showing you um, that through the way they showed up and the actions that they took towards you, but you later found out that they had a false mask and this triggered you in all sorts of ways and sent you on the road of this um, exploration. This is also here to let you know that the same, in, the same person, in fact, has noticed the differences in you because you've taken on the task of getting in touch with what makes you tick. And the work that you've made now has set you it, it's really set reset your energy in many ways causing you to show up differently in the world and this person has taken note so because they've taken note you may indeed have another encounter with this person that's being driven by this person and spirit wants you to know you know you're you're going to be tested you're going to be tested and your resolve to your own healing, your resolve to strength, personal strength, emotional strength, spiritual strength is going to be tested by this false person or false people around you. So stand firm in what you've recently learned and what you've recently accomplished. Stand firm, Cancer. All right, you know. Cancer haters always hate and cancers unfortunately have more than their fair share of haters. All right. All right. So now we're going to look at this queen of wands. Um, and what I'm seeing with this queen of wands, whether you are a feminine or a masculine cancer, you're showing up very much in this queen of wands energy. And that is to say, as I was speaking about here, you because of this inner work, you've become so magnetic, my God. Um, and Queen of Wands is an extremely magnetic individual. They can draw people from miles away with just the sheer glow of their aura. People want to know the Queen of Wands. And this week, I think especially you're going to start to see um, a lot of this around you, you're going to look around and people are just going to be drawn to you. It, it may even be something that you find startling and that, wow, what's going on kind of thing. Like, are the stars lined up a certain way or are we in a certain type of moon cycle? No. I mean, yeah. Okay. Moon cycles and the bodies that are 
occupying the heavens and how they are aligned does affect us as human. Yes. However, this is purely happening because of your recent work on yourself and how your energy has shifted in this world. All right. You may find yourself drawing in the attention of this uh, mature man. Um, for those of you that this is not a message about love and romance, it is that this person's attention, this person is in a place where they can actually open doors and do things for you. And so they'll be drawn to what they see in you as um, you know, wisdom or skill or a particular aptitude towards something. That's what will draw in this mature man energy. And this is a person who may be able to get you into a space or a place that you have been wanting to get to, but just didn't have that right person to help you get in right so this is something that you want to watch out for as well and now that you know that this is the energy that you're in this week and this is there's a potential for this to come through for you you can you you'll know it when you see it and then therefore you'll be able to best take advantage of it um for yourself right for others of you this is a romantic thing and um, especially for those feminine energies you may meet someone with whom you find a connection and you may find that this person is a bit older than you right so um, I don't know how you feel about that but again this person will be drawn to you you're you're your magnetism, your everything about you that makes you attractive has been amped up. So because of this recent work that you've done, it's it's your energy just is is overflowing. And so this person will be drawn in by you. And um, yeah, they're they're going to be very interested. So you may find yourself cancer with a new admirer this week. All right, three of pentacles in the reverse. And this is in many ways what I'm seeing is connected to this world card in the reverse. There was a cycle maybe romantic and you thought it was over and it's not with that world in the reverse. So this is kind of a, a connection that you gave your all to um, you know you wanted to be very much on the same page with this person um, you wanted to invest and you did invest in your connection to them because you wanted to build and you wanted that connection to become official in some way whether that's through marriage or whether that is you wanted a title, you know, girlfriend, boyfriend, significant other, you wanted that type of title with this person. Um, and so it didn't happen in the way that you wanted to, probably what prompted this here, as we've already stated. Um, but yeah, you you were very, very much wrapped up in this connection and it didn't work out for you. And so you pushed on, on your own, doing the work alone. And you think, you know, you're at a, a great point um, in your energy, in your pain. Things are starting to turn around, as we said. You now glow. Your glow is going to draw this person back in, okay? Because they see you. you you haven't fallen off their radar, no matter what it looks like. You're still on their radar. And here they come with gifts. Okay, whether that is an actual physical gift, something that they know or think that you're going to like, that's going to soften you so that you'll listen and so that you'll be 
um, amenable to their words or, you know, whether that is the gift of them thinking they, um, the gift of an apology, the gift of them trying to reconnect in a way that has you comfortable that they are now on your side, okay? But if you look carefully at the background here um, of this card, what's being depicted here, it's like it's like a cozy home, right? Fire blazing, see the pictures on the wall, the, the nice lamp here. Don't be surprised if this person shows up at your home. Do not be surprised. Um, for those of you who are looking for some type of reconciliation, yeah, you might want to look your best even while you're at home. Okay, just, just be aware this person can pop up. <laughs> that's a possibility, a strong possibility this week. All right, so that's what I get here with this Three of Pentacles in the reverse. I also have here the Ten of Swords in the reverse. And again, we've gone back to this work you've been doing on yourself. You've released a lot of those swords that were in your back, probably brought about by a relationship situation, um, you know, something that triggered the hell out of you. So you've done the work of these swords have fallen out of your back now. This this card is in the up then the reverse. So in the upright, you know, you've been stabbed down and this is where you were just a short time ago. But through your own grit and determination, you are now at a point where these swords have fallen out. Okay. Now, like with any wound, even though what penetrated you has fallen away, you know these wounds that were left behind, they're still in a state of healing, right? Um, you know, you may have had, you may have done the work and you have some stitches, but even with stitches, there's a healing process. So continue to be kind to yourself, continue to look out for what best serves you and keep at a distance what has the potential to hurt you because you still are even though you're feeling many of you much much stronger right now you're still in a vulnerable state although you know you're feeling stronger you're still um healing okay and when you're out of the initial horrible pain of being stabbed down like this feeling like you are returning to the world more whole and having more magnetism can make you falsely believe that you're completely healed. You're still in a state of healing. You're, you're much further down the line than you have been in a very long time, okay? But the warning is be aware of who is around you that could potentially undo your healing and just take care and look out for yourself okay look out for yourself so those are the messages that i have that have come through for you cancers um if this has been helpful to you please please smash that subscribe button i appreciate you all being here take care of yourselves and until next time cancer much love